bookworms! Today I'm going to be doing my high fantasy TBR. If you watched my recent vlog where I kind of give a little chat about YouTube and the way that I've been feeling lately, you'll know that I obviously still want to read a lot, but I have kind of wanted to shift my perspective when it comes to the things that I'm investing my time in. There are like a whole bunch of high fantasy series that I'm always like, God, I want to read this so badly, but I don't because I know that they're going to take me longer to read and I'm used to reading like a certain number of books per month and I'm trying really hard to break that habit and to shift and to read things that I like really want to have read despite how long they might take me to read. So I'm making this high fantasy TBR for myself so that I can look back and see like these are the series that I want to have in my head. So yeah, I have quite a few of them. Some of them are series that I've already started and I just need to finish. Some of them are series that I have not yet started and I'm really looking forward to diving into. I'm pretty sure that all of the series in my list are adult fantasy series. Maybe you'll find something new that you also want to invest time into reading. So here we go. So the first series on my list will come as a surprise to nobody who's been following me on Instagram for a while now. And that is The Witcher series by Andrzej Sapkowski. So this series follows Geralt who is a witcher and he is like a monster hunter and there's this amazing sorceress named Yennefer and there is a child of destiny named Ciri and so far I have read the first two books in the series which are The Last Wish and Sword of Destiny. So the next book that I'm going to be picking up is this one, Blood of Elves. I really want to read as many of these as I can before the Netflix series comes out. The trailer is incredible. Like I it premiered yesterday and I'm just obsessed with it. I can't even tell you how many times I have watched it. It is so good and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I just so quickly fell in love with these books and even though some of the short stories like do take me a little bit longer to read, like I just have such a great experience every time that I am reading them and I just love stories. Some of them were inspired by fairy tales which I like really was not expecting but it's so awesome. Like it's just such an amazing series. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to reading the rest of these. I think there's only one book that I'm missing at the moment, Season of Storms, which I think is actually like a prequel, but I think I'm still going to read everything in order, like the short stories then the numbered books before I read that prequel book. The next series on my list is another one that I want to finish up and that is the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. I have read the first book which is The Final Empire two times now. I read it first like years ago. I want to say it was like 2015 and then I just reread it recently but I have it fresh in my head and I want to continue on and finish this series. I'm actually planning on picking up Well of Ascension in the beginning of August. I will have this read quick. This series I really enjoy just because the magic system is so unique. I think the characters are wonderful and the world building is really incredible. I know like tons of people have talked about Mistborn so you probably don't need to hear anything else from me about it. So far I really love it and there's actually a second era of Mistborn novels also that take place after these ones. It's like a second trilogy, which I've heard aren't as good as the original ones, but chances are I will end up picking those up as well. The next series that I really want to read is another extreme undertaking and that is The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. There are 15 books in the Wheel of Time series and this is another one that's being adapted by Amazon and I do want to read a chunk of the series before that adaptation comes out. I know it's going to be a long journey getting through these books but I've wanted to read these for 10 years now and I don't know why I've never even just tried picking up the first one and I really want to make it a priority so here it is. I know this is a story with like a chosen one but this is a high fantasy series and I say that it's also by Brandon Sanderson because Robert Jordan wrote the first however many books. I want to say he wrote the first like 20 12 or 13 books or something and then Brandon Sanderson wrote the final books in the series because Robert Jordan actually passed away but he told Brandon how he wanted the series to end so Brandon actually finished it the way that it was intended to be finished which is like crazy that somebody else could take up the mantle and do this but it's great that fans were able to get that closure and I already know that I love Brandon Sanderson so I'm really excited to read this series. The next series on my TBR is the band series the first book being Kings of the the Wild by Nicholas Eames. This is one that has been recommended to me numerous times by my friend Holly from Holly Hart's Books. This is one that I have wanted to read since I first heard about it. I think it sounds 
absolutely incredible, but I knew that it would be a longer fantasy read and I just hadn't ever invested my time in it, but I plan on doing so very soon. I'm actually hoping to get to this book in September. This follows a band of mercenaries who are like way past their glory days, but they have to get back together to do this one last job. And there's supposedly like a ton of humor and everyone has said that there are like lots of D&D vibes, which I'm into. So yeah, I am really looking forward to reading this one. There is a sequel to this one too called The Bloody Rose, which I do not yet have a copy of, but I plan on getting if I enjoy this book, which I really think that I'm going to. Next on my list is another Brandon Sanderson series, and that is The Stormlight Archive. This series is going to be something insane, like nine books from what I've heard. I can't remember how many it is, but there's, there's going to be multiple story arcs. So there are going to be like a couple of books and then you'll kind of have a completed story arc and then there will be another story arc within the series that'll take place later. So I feel better about starting it even though we're only published through book three at the moment. I would imagine book four is going to be coming like within the next year because Brandon is just like a machine when it comes to writing. He puts out more books than any other author pretty much and I have no idea how he does it. But this series is so beloved by so many people and so many people love this like even more than Mistborn. They think it's his best series and that once it ends it's probably going to be one one of the best fantasy series ever written like in all of time and space. So I definitely want to get on board with this, start reading it, and then be caught up so that I can also read the new ones as they release. The next series is a series that I need to finish and that is the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. I've read the first book which is The Bear and the Nightingale but I really want to read books two and three which are The Girl in the Tower and The Winter of the Witch. These are both like Russian inspired fairy tales kind of stories. They're incredibly slow burn and I really liked all of the magic and stuff that was in the first one. And the way that the first one ended, it sounded like the story was really just starting to get going. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen when I pick up the second book and then eventually the third book. The next series on my TBR is The Raria Chronicles by Michael J. Sullivan. This is three books here, but it's actually six books. Each of these is a bind up of two of the books in the series. This follows a thief and a swordsman and both of them are mercenaries and they take on these jobs to, you know, make some easy money. But one of the jobs that they take on ends up being extremely complicated and I believe that the pair of them get framed for murder and it ends up being like this whole plot to overthrow the entire kingdom. One of the reasons that I want to read this series so badly is because I know that it is full of elves and I find that to be really interesting. So I can't wait to get to these ones. There's also a prequel series. From what I've been told, it's better to read them in publication order than in chronological order, although you can start with the other series if you prefer to, but I'm gonna read in publication order and start with Theft of Swords here. This was also recently a pick on the Sword and Laser podcast, which I have listened to for years now. One of the hosts, Veronica, loved it and she ended up reading like the entire series and yeah, that just was all of the endorsement that I needed. And finally, the last series on my TBR, which is another unfinished series, is the Gentleman Bastard series by Scott Lynch. I read the first book, The Lies of Locke Lamora, and I really loved it, but I know how slowly these books are being published, so I didn't really want to get like super invested and then have to wait forever to pick up the next one, though I am kind of itching to get back into this world. I've been considering rereading the first book before I go into these next two because I actually think I read Lies of Locke Lamora in the year that I read Mistborn, which was probably 2015, which was quite a while ago, and even though I, I like pretty much remember everything that happened, I think it would be good just to have that refresher before diving in. And also another reason that I put off the second two is because of the way that the first book ends. I was like, I can't. I just can't read anymore because of reasons and you'll know what I mean if you have read the first book. I do want to continue. I believe the fourth book should be coming, I want to say next year because I think that Scott Lynch tweeted that he had a finished draft, which means that it's definitely well on its way to getting published. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so those are all of the series that I currently have on my high fantasy TBR. Let me know if you have read any of them. Let me know if there are any that you think that I should prioritize or let me know if there are any that you 
you have also really wanted to read but maybe have been putting off because you know it'll take you a little bit longer. I know for me definitely the first two on this list that I will for sure be finishing are Mistborn and the Witcher series without a doubt and then afterward I'm kind of open to whatever I should try next so let me know in the comments and that's all that I have for this video and I'll see you guys soon in a new one. Bye!